for the shield may be as important for victory, as the sword or spear. A scientific man ought to have no wishes, no affections, a mere heart of stone. False facts are highly injurious to the progress of science, for they often endure long. But false views, if supported by some evidence, do little harm, for everyone takes a salutary pleasure in proving their falseness. I am not apt to follow blindly the lead of other men. I see no good reasons, why the views given in this volume should shock the religious views of anyone. In conclusion, it appears that nothing can be more improving to a young naturalist, than a journey in distant countries. It is not the strongest of the species that survives, not the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is the most adaptable to change. One general law, leading to the advancement of all organic beings, namely, multiply, vary, let the strongest live, and the weakest die. The love for all living creatures is the most noble attribute of man. There is no fundamental difference between man and animals in their ability to feel pleasure and pain, happiness and misery. We stopped looking for monsters under our bed when we realized that they were inside us A man who dares to waste one hour of time, has not discovered the value of life. But a plant on the edge of a desert, is said to struggle for life against the drought, though more properly it should be said to be dependent upon the moisture. I am dying by inches, from not having anybody to talk to about insects. I have tried lately to read Shakespeare, and found it so intolerably dull that it nauseated me. Ignorance more frequently begets confidence than does knowledge. It is those who know little, not those who know much, who so positively assert that this or that problem will never be solved by science. It is difficult to believe in the dreadful, but quiet war lurking just below the serene facade of nature. Often a cold shudder has run through me, and I have asked myself, whether I may have not devoted myself to a fantasy. The highest possible stage in moral culture is when we recognize that we ought to control our thoughts. The very essence of instinct is, that it's followed independently of reason. We are not here concerned with hopes, or fears, only with truth as far as our reason permits us to discover it. Whilst man, however well behaved, at best is but a monkey shaved. Ignorance, more frequently begets confidence, than does knowledge. Besides love and sympathy, animals exhibit other qualities connected with the social instincts, which in us would be called moral.
freedom of thought, is best promoted by the gradual illumination of men's minds, which follows from the advance of science. I am not the least afraid to die. If I had my life to live over again, I would have made a rule to read some poetry, and listen to some music at least once every week. Intelligence, is based on how efficient a species, became at doing the things they need to survive. Man in his arrogance thinks himself a great work, worthy of the interposition of a deity, more humble, and I believe truer, to consider him created from animals. One hand, has surely worked throughout the universe. The mystery of the beginning of all things is insoluble by us and I for one must be content to remain an agnostic. To kill an error is as good a service as, and sometimes even better than, the establishing of a new truth, or fact. We will now discuss in a little more detail the struggle for existence. A grain in the balance will determine which individual shall live, and which shall die, which variety or species shall increase in number, and which shall decrease, or finally become extinct. Blushing is the most peculiar, and most human of all expressions. Great is the power of steady misrepresentation. I have always maintained that, excepting fools, men did not differ much in intellect, only in zeal and hard work, and I still think there is an eminently important difference. If the misery of the poor be caused not by the laws of nature, but by our institutions, great is our sin. It is always advisable to perceive clearly our ignorance. Man selects only for his own good, nature only for that of the being which she tends. Only picture to yourself, a nice soft wife on a sofa, with good fire, and books, and music. The question of whether there exists a creator, and ruler of the universe, has been answered in the affirmative by some of the highest intellects, that have ever existed. We are always slow in admitting any great change of which we do not see the intermediate steps. Wherever the European had to rod, death seemed to pursue the aboriginal. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share, like and subscribe to our channel. Success for all of us.